Today I'm going to show you how to make a, an explosion box similar to this one. It's going to be a different color than this one, but it's going to be made exactly the same way. Um, it's going to have a hard bottom, and then the lid pull. All right. It's got three different sides. And let me go ahead and say I did not design this. Um, I actually saw this on someone else's video and I made one and I changed it just a little bit um, but I was trying to find her video so that I could share her link with you as well and I haven't found it at the time that I recorded this video but if I find it before I post the video I will definitely put it in the description down below. Um, but I just wanted to make sure and tell you that it was definitely not my design. Alright, so in this explosion box you'll have three different layers. In your first layer, I just finished making this one so I've got little glue pieces everywhere. You're going to have a pocket on each flap with a tag, just like that. Alright, I'm coordinating colors here. And then on your next layer, you got your checkerboard and all of these open up and they have a magnet closure on them. So your middle section opens up like that. For some more photo mats. And then your last layer you have a pocket on each side, just like this, <coughs> and then you have this that flips out. And there's actually photo mats on either side of this. And this is also held closed with a magnet. All right. And then you have the cute little box in the center. And inside the box, and I will show you how to make one of these as well. <clears throat> you have a little accordion photo thing. All right. And this box tilts back. There's another magnet holding that down to reveal two more photo mats. And what I've done is I have come up with a paper pack so to speak and it has all of these papers in it um, it'll have all nine designs that are used plus ten solid sheets of cardstock which is all of the cardstock you would need to make this exact box or the one that we're fixing to make um, and those are going to be available in my shop and I'll put a link to those down below the video but just to give you an idea um, I've just basically packaged them up and like I said they've got your 10 solid pieces of black and then it's got your nine designs that you will use to build the box and like I said we're going to be building the blue one um, but as we go through and build the blue one I'll be showing you the pink one again so that you can see it and compare the designs in case you're wanting to make the, the pink one. But this one, as you can see, is going to be turquoise and black or teal and black or whatever color you would call that. Like I said, there's nine designs, ten solid pieces, and actually you end up with quite a bit of scraps. This is what you'll have left out of that pack. Plus you'll have at least a sheet and a half of the black solid. I've already put mine away. But you'll have plenty of the designs left that you could use to make little cards or anything else as well. Alright, so I'm going to stop this video and get set up and ready to show you how to make one of these. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. The first thing that we're going to do is this very first section out here. 
and then we're going to put our hard piece on the bottom to keep this strong. And something I'm going to do so that I can show you all this is put a rubber band around it. Alright, so you will need a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, whatever base color you're wanting to use, and if you bought the kit from my shop, you'll have the black. You're going to score it at four on each side, so what you'll do is you'll put it on your scoreboard, score it at four, turn it, score it at four, turn it, all the way around to where you end up with a tic-tac-toe board on your piece of paper. I don't know if you can see it that well in the video or not. Once you've done that, you can either, you can either use your scissors or a straight blade and cut along these score lines and remove these four outer squares so that when you're done, it will look like this piece over here. It'll look like this. So, see? That's what you want. Once you've done that, you need to cut a piece that is six by six. And this time you want to score an inch from all four sides. And do the same thing, remove these four corners. Now if you know how to miter corners, you don't have to remove those four corners, but I was trying to keep the video uh, simple. But you could, this piece is going to be used to cover this piece of chipboard. So if you know how to miter your corners, you can do that too. Okay. Alright, so you're going to take this piece, and you're going to take a piece of chipboard that is 3 and 5, 15 sixteenths by 3 and 15 sixteenths. It's just thin chipboard. Cover one side with score tape and adhere it to the center of this 6 by 6 piece that you trim the corners out of. This is what's going to form that hard base for your box to sit on. All right, and then put score tape on all four flaps, if you did it this way, or even if you didn't. And you're going to fold two flaps in, like this, and then fold your other two this way. And then when you get done with that, you want to put score tape across this. And then we're going to put it on our other piece of paper. Okay, now we're going to put this piece down. Now we're going to put this piece down in the center of our first 12 by 12 piece that we made. Just like that. Turn it over and rub it down real good. Alright, this is going to be the outside. Alright, your next step is you want to cut four of these and four of these, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. 
And I have distressed these using the black soot from Tim Holtz. On the pink and gray one, I used sponge sugar and hickory smoke, depending on which paper I was using. All right, so four of each of these at three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then you're gonna want eight solid pieces that are three and 15 sixteenths by three and 15 sixteenths. The purpose of these is you're gonna put, you're gonna put all these mats on your solid pieces. I've already done the majority of mine. This gives you a little bit more stability on the side of your box. And it makes it a lot sturdier in the long run. So I'm going to finish up my two pieces over here. And then we are going to put our black pieces on the inside, all, all four. And on the outside, the side with the chipboard piece, we're going to put our teal pieces on all four sides. All right. you've gotten that done you have got the outside of your box built get your nice sturdy bottom your next step is going to be to do your pockets you will need four pieces that are three and a half by one and a half with score tape on three sides and you will need four pieces that are three and three eighths by one and three eighths. You're going to put one of these on each of your black pieces that has the three pieces of score tape. And then you're going to put these down as your pockets on all four flaps right there. Okay? We've got all four of our pockets down. As you noticed, I was putting some glue along my score tape. That's just to keep my tags from sticking to that score tape. All right, now you need to make your four tags for this. All right, and what I've done is I have cut four pieces at three by two and a half of black cardstock, and then I've cut two each of this this design. Now I went back and did the tags at the end so that I could use the little, the smaller scrap pieces. So you can wait to do this part if you want. But these you cut at two and three eighths by two and seven eighths. Okay, and you'll mat them on your black cardstock and put them in your pockets. And as you can see on the pink one, one of the other things that I did is I went back and I put a little ribbon at the top. Which is something else you can do too. Alright. 
All right, now we want to set this piece to the side and we're going to work on the next layer. For our next layer, you're going to need a sheet of cardstock that is 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. You're going to score it at three and three quarters on all four sides, just like you did your first sheet. You know, by scoring at three and three quarters and then turning it and score again until you get all four sides. Once you get done with that, you want to cut this score line, this score line, this score line, and this one. You're essentially cutting every other one just straight up to the to the line. Don't go any further, just cut from the edge to the first score line. And what you're going to end up with is this. So I've got it cut here and here. So each flap is essentially two squares. Okay? Once you've done that, you want to attach magnets to it so that it closes. What I do is I will put one of them down and I use these basic gray magnets. You can find those in my shop as well. But I will put one down this side. Right. Then I will put that one on there. Uh oh, it stuck to it, didn't it? <laughs> put that piece of paper back. Put that on there. Put your little piece of tape on the back. Just like that. And then when you close this, you'll pick up your magnet and it'll be where you need it to be. Okay? If you want, you can put another piece of score tape. Alright, once you have all of your magnets in place, you want to cut eight pieces that are three and five eighths by three and five eighths out of this paper. I used this side, if you want to use the heart side you can but these are three and five eighths by three and five eighths and you're going to put these on these outside squares with it open up like this those panels stuck down. Close up all these flaps. <clears throat> and now you have your your cross again. So now you're going to need four pieces of this design and four pieces of this design. Three and five eighths by three and five eighths. 
and you will need eight pieces of black that is 3 and 11 sixteenths by 3 and 11 sixteenths. Once again, so these are 3 and 5 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths, and these are 3 and 11 sixteenths by 3 and 11 sixteenths. So once again, you're going to mat them, okay? On the inside, you're going to put the black ones. And then you're going to flip it over to the back and put the teal ones. Okay. Once you get that done, that is your next section. And we're going to set this one to the side with the other one and get ready to do our third section. So at this point you should have your two pieces. Alright. Okay. Let's get our third and final layer done. Now this layer is a little bit different than your other ones because this layer you're going to have a pocket on each side right? and then this, as you remember, these sides flip out. Okay, So I'm going to show you how to cut it to where you can do all of that. It's not as hard as it might look You're going to cut your paper 10 and a half by 10 and a half. And once again, you're going to score all four sides at three and a half. Okay. After you've gotten done and you've got your tic tac toe board, remove this corner up here and this corner. Take those completely out. And cut these two score lines up to this score line. And that's going to leave you. with this. We've got cuts down here. Nothing here. All right. Then you're going to cut two pieces of black cardstock that are three and a half by one. Score them right down the middle at a half of an inch. Fold them and cut each one at an angle like that. This is what it would look like without the score tape on it. Okay. Put score tape on either side. I did that before I cut mine so that the score tape will be all the way to the end. Right. Inside your panel, put a piece of score tape along the bottom. Oh, excuse me. It's going to be the bottom of the pocket. But put a piece of score tape here and here. This is where you've got your cuts over here. So that's where you're putting your score tape. So that this will become a pocket. All right. Once you've done that, take one of these and take the tape off the side. Take your tape off the bottom piece here. and line this up with this edge right here. 
I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. But line it up with this edge on the score mark. Okay. Then take this piece off. And fold this over. And that becomes your pocket. Then you want to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now, we've got our two pockets done. Let's make our, our two fold outs. So what you're going to need here is you're going to want two pieces that are three and seven sixteenths by seven and three fourths. Now you're wanting to score this at three and seven sixteenths and six and seven eighths. Scoring it at six and seven eighths is not a problem because it's on your scoreboard. In order to get a score on my three and seven sixteenths, what I do is I will line my ruler up and then use the end of my tool and I'll just mark my 3 and 7 sixteenths with my tool like that and then set it on my scoreboard and score that, line it up with a score line, score that and then you can just push it up against the side after you line it up to where you can score this just push your paper to the side and score it at 6 and 7 eighths so just to recap Use your ruler, mark your 3 and 7 sixteenths up here near the top so that you can see where it's at. Line up that mark with one of the grooves on your scoreboard and score that where you marked it. Then slide it over to the side and score it at 6 and 7 eighths. Okay. Once you've done that, You will have a large flap and a small flap. You want to put a piece of score tape on the small flap. Eight of these at three and three eighths by three and three eighths. Okay. Now we use a magnet to hold this down as well trying to remember which way this goes. So you're going to attach this little flap. You're going to line it up right here. And attach this little flap here. Just like that. So take your score tape off and fold the score line back. Your fold out is look, looks like this. Line it up on the edge. I'm going to have to turn this so I can see what I'm doing. Line it up on the edge. Just like that. Put your magnet here. Then close it and put your other magnet there where it goes. Now you can put it there or you can put it on this side. So you can set it right there. Pull this tape off and pick your magnet up like that. So that's how you want to attach this. Magnet there, and that folds like that.
before we put these on, let's go ahead and mat our inside piece and our outside piece so that we don't get confused as to which ones get these. So for this you're going to need eight pieces. They're three and seven sixteenths by three and seven sixteenths. Four of each of this design, each of these designs, that are three and three eighths by three and three eighths. And again, you're going to mat them onto the black cardstock. Okay. The black pieces will go on the inside. Make sure your flaps are closed. And then you will flip it over and put the teal pieces. Okay. we've done that, the eight pieces that you cut of this, that's three and three eighths by three and three eighths, goes here and here. Okay? So just, they don't get matted, just use your double sided adhesive and put those panels down. Now to make the little tags for the pockets, you can do them any way you want to, but I just figured I would show you how I did mine, how I made it look like that. So you need one piece that is one by one, you need two black pieces that are three and an eighth by three and an eighth, you'll actually need two of the one by ones as well, one for each pocket, and then I cut mats at three by three of both of these designs. Now take your one by one piece and fold it in half. And then take a small corner punch. And you can't push it all the way in because it'll go all the way through but just kind of line it up and round those corners. like that. And for this I use white glue. Just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of each one. And then just kind of eyeball it in the center of that tag. Just like that. And then attach your mats on either side and your pockets will be done. Now we're going to get ready to do the box on the inside. So, let's look back at our pink one. That way those of you that are doing the pink one can check your designs. We've done the outer layer which is this one. And then we've done the next layer. And this is the one with the flaps that fold out. 
And now we've done our center layer. We've got our two pockets and our flip outs. All right now we're going to make this box and the panel for the bottom and that.